Welcome to GlutenFreedomProject.com. My name is Jess Kelly, and today we're going to be making a butternut squash lasagna. This is a really nice weeknight dinner that is completely grain free. So for people who are avoiding grains and dairy, this is a very fun take on lasagna. So there's three steps that we're gonna do to get this recipe started. And the first one is to start the sausage. We're using um, a hot Italian sausage for this recipe and we're gonna be sauteing it with some garlic and onions. Now, make sure that you read your labels on your sausage because a lot of times they do use gluten as a filler. So do check the label or do check our product directory for what we suggest for um, Italian sausages that don't have gluten. So what we're doing, because these sausage links do come in a casing, basically you can cut the end off of each sausage putting it in your pan. I do suggest cast iron pans as opposed to non-stick. You're gonna get some benefit of the iron in them. So basically, once we've cut both ends off, you take it in the middle and you squish one side out is the easiest, like you're milking a cow almost, and then squish the other side out. It's okay if you get a little casing in the pan or if you don't get all the sausage out. So that's how you do one of those. We're gonna do all three because you do need a pound of sausage for this recipe. So we're putting this into the pan and then we're gonna add um, an entire onion and three cloves of garlic. So now that we've got the sausage in the pan, we're going to turn this to about medium high heat. With sausage, you don't need to add oil because it's going to cook on its own, to create its own oil. So with this, we're gonna add garlic. We're gonna use a whole onion to saute with the sausage and the garlic. So to cut an onion, I've cut it so it's on a flat surface in half. So it's not rolling around, you reduce the chances of cutting your finger off. And then we're basically gonna do a couple slits up and down and then to the side. So the onion and the garlic go into the pan with the sausage, and this is gonna cook for approximately eight minutes. So this is rolling, it smells good already. So meanwhile, while this is cooking, we're gonna keep our eye on that, and we're gonna make um, the lasagna noodles. This is the best part of this recipe. It's a really fun twist on what you would do for traditional lasagna noodles. There are also a multitude of new gluten-free lasagna noodles on the market if you don't want to use squash, but today we're going to be transforming this butternut squash into lasagna noodles. And then now we have a nice format to cut our noodles. You want to do it a very, very thin cut um, the thinner the better, minding your fingers. So see that, we've got a width of about that much, almost looks like a lasagna noodle. So we're gonna continue to do slices like that for the remainder of our squash. So sauce, sausage going, noodles made, our last step is to make the sauce. So for that, we're gonna use a food processor you can also do this in a mixing bowl if you don't have a food processor. Into the food processor, just a couple leaves of basil. If you like basil, you can add more. These are about four or five leaves in there. We're adding a quarter cup of olive oil. We're adding a half cup of roasted red peppers. And we're adding one jar of uh, about 15 uh, ounces of gluten-free pizza sauce. So all these go in. One trick that I like to do when you have a little debris in the bottom of your jar is to just add a touch of water, put the cap back on, give it a little shake, and then you can add it in there and it cleans this out so that you're able to recycle it a little bit better. Voila, the sauce is made. So, during that time that we made the noodles and we made the sauce, our sausage is ready to roll. So, I'm gonna turn the heat on here and we're gonna get ready to make our layers. Okay, so before we begin to make our layers, let's preheat the oven. So we're going to turn the oven on to bake at 400 degrees. 
So using a nine by nine baking dish, just like how you would make any other kind of lasagna, you start thinking in layers. First things first, let's put a small layer of sauce on the bottom. The liquid from the sauce is gonna help to cook the butternut squash lasagna in the layers. So you can spread that around. Now we'll use our lasagna noodles. So you wanna make sure that these don't overlap, but do your best. You're gonna place the lasagna noodles on top of the sauce. And you can always cut them to make them adjust and fit as needed. And you may have some leftover. And if you do have leftover, I like to steam them, puree them, and add them into things like macaroni and cheese because of the similar color. So there we have a nice layer of squash or lasagna noodles. The next step is to add a layer of our sausage onion mixture. So always move things as close to the pan as possible so it has less distance to travel. And we're gonna spread that across. This is gonna be nice and chunky and hearty. This is a dish that also will freeze well if you wanna make it in batches. And it's even better cold sometimes than it is warm. And for the final, you wanna make sure that you reserved enough sauce to give this sausage layer a really nice coating on top. So we're gonna spread that around. You don't even miss the cheese or the noodles with this lasagna. We're gonna get about four servings out of this lasagna. So good for a family of four or to may have for lunch for a couple days left over. Okay, so now that we have the lasagna, what we're gonna do before we put it in the oven is to just give it a wrap with aluminum foil. And then we're gonna bake it for 45 minutes. And put this in the oven. Careful with the tin foil, it's gonna be warm. So you can use the edge of a dish, dish cloth to pull that off. Voila. Again, four servings approximately with this lasagna. So we're gonna basically chop it. And we're gonna get in there, scoop it out. Oh, voila. That's how that finish is gonna look. Great with a green salad. And uh, let's, let's make sure it actually tastes okay. The sausage looks great, smells just like lasagna. Who misses the noodles in the dairy? Mm-hmm, another winner. Great flavors, not too spicy, but the sausage really does add some flavor. This is a good one. That's it for today. Thanks for watching GlutenFreedomProject.com. I'm Jess, and we'll see you next time.